Bangkok is a gigantic city and getting around via public transportation can be confusing and pricey. So today, we're gonna try out some of the most popular forms of transportation so you don't have to. The taxi actually dropped us at the wrong ferry dock, so we have to jog to the next one. So it's been about double the amount of time since the bus was supposed to get here. It's not here. transportation today is going to be a taxi. We try to stay away from taxis as much as possible because they're expensive and they tend to rip you off a little bit more. So we're going to take one right now for just a short distance just to show you how it is, but this is not something that we would usually take just because we travel primarily on a pretty tight So he is taking us to the to a pier right now. All right, we are in a taxi now. I just hailed one, if Maddie showed you. But whenever you get a taxi, ask them to make sure they'll turn on the meter. Otherwise, you're gonna get ripped off. So <laughs> this one turned the meter on for us. In more touristy areas, it's really hard to come by people that'll turn the meter on, so. For sure, and we are headed down to a ferry port right now to show you the next form of transportation. One of my favorites. So about six or seven minutes later, we have made it to our ferry pier. It costs 50 baht for that, for just a few minute ride. So as you can see, the currency exchange of that isn't much, so it's pretty cheap. But at the same time, there are options that are way cheaper than this that we are about to show you. All right, the taxi actually dropped us at the wrong ferry dock, so. We have to jog to the next one. The ferry comes in like four minutes. So, we gotta cross the bridge. Darn taxis. It's hard to communicate with them. All right, we are at the ferry dock. The right one this time. The ferry supposedly comes in two minutes, so hopefully we're correct. Found boat. Okay. So for that reason, right there is why one we don't care to take taxis, and yeah. The way that they're able to drive these boats is. got on the boat and you basically find the ticketer and you pay her and she'll give you a print out a little ticket but it's really loud on the boat but it's super efficient really quick 16 baht per person so pretty much how this boat works is there's a guy that stands in the back and he like whistles up front to the driver if anyone needs to get off or if he sees anyone who needs to get on. It's a super efficient system. Plus, you get to see the city. Plus, you get to see the city from the. Plus, you get to see the city from the water, which is a really cool perspective to see it from, rather than just driving through on the streets and through the buildings. Also make sure to um, follow the signs and the rules that are listed because I just got yelled at for standing on the stairs. Oops.
So we just got off the boat and it was seriously such an easy ride, only like half an hour. Half an hour and 16 baht each, so super affordable, great way to see the city, and you can pretty much ride it for as far as you want or as short as you want, and it costs 16 yep. baht for it all. So. And a big bonus is there is no traffic, which Bangkok is famous for. So, so. true, but we have made it to the iconic Icon Siam Mall. So. We will never buy anything from here, but <laughs> it's beautiful to see. Later at night, they actually have a water and a light show that turn on every single night, and it's pretty cool to see. It's super beautiful, and so we're gonna go explore the area a little yep. bit. This, this mall is huge, so we'll show you around a little bit. So this whole area is kind of comprised of two different areas. There's this outdoor market right here that sells pretty much anything that a normal market sells, and then there's also the mall. The mall is full of luxury stores, so you have like Cartier, you have Gucci, you have Louis Vuitton, like you have all of those big top luxury brands, and so it's kind of cool just to walk around and kind of window shop at stuff you'll never be able to afford to buy. <laughs> Yeah, and I also read that there are over 7,000 stores here and over 100 restaurants. So this mall is like the mega mall of Southeast Asia. So it's one of the biggest ones, I think. Yeah. This mall is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Another crazy thing is this mall is supposedly 10 stories, so at home we're used to like two-story malls, like the biggest ones, two stories, so 10 stories and they just go on forever. You can get lost in almost any mall in Bangkok. They really are awesome, like the malls are just yeah. a really cool experience. You don't, you don't understand how cool they are until you come to a Southeast Asian mall. For sure. I just go get my Dior bag. This mall has any luxury brand you could really imagine, but they also have some like regular stores like H&M and Sephora, so they have a little bit of a mix. So we've been walking around for a little bit, and now we're going down to Souk Siam, which I guess is like an indoor market. I don't know, Kyle looked it up online and it looked really cool. So we're gonna go down here. Quick correction, they actually call it an indoor floating market, so there is water inside the building to make it floating, I guess. <laughs> it looks very nice, very expensive. A lot of food, like street type food, but yeah, like Maddie said, it's more expensive. So that right there is why they call it the floating indoor market. And honestly, they do have a lot of really nice stuff in here, but a lot of the other stuff is just the exact same stuff they have on, at normal street markets, just way more expensive. Yeah, it's still pretty cool to see though. It is. All right, so we originally left the mall to go find somewhere to eat, but then we came back inside because there's over 100 restaurants in here. <laughs> so why wouldn't we find one in here? And actually, there's supposedly like a really good pad thai place that we're trying to find, so. It's on the sixth floor. So we're gonna see if we can find it and if it is something we wanna eat at. And one bottle of water. Yes. All right, so I saw this place online and it supposedly has some, there's like five of these restaurants in Bangkok and that has supposedly some of the best pad thai you can get, so we are here to try it. So this is pad thai with shrimp in it, and it has this kind of like really thin layer of egg wrapped around it. Apparently that's what makes it special, so yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Anything to say about it? It's like thicker than normal pad thai. A little bit of a fishy smell to it. Alright, so this pad thai is quite a bit more expensive than a street food pad thai. So it better be the best pad thai I've ever had. 
Chinese right. It has a little bit more of a fishy flavor to it, but it is pretty good. The serving size is a little bit smaller, so I don't know. I've had some pretty good street food pad thai, though. We'll see you when we're done with dinner. We have left the restaurant. If we're going to be honest, we had some very high expectations going into that. Yeah. And they were not met. So I would give the food a 6.5 out of 10. I agree. We paid probably like five times the price of street food pad thai. <laughs> And at the end, they put a 10% service charge with a 7% VAT. So a little bit more than we thought it was going to be, too. And it tasted kind of fishy, which I do not like. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so. that's the big reason to knock it down to a 6.5. A little right. bit too much fishiness. Right. But we're moving on. I think we're going to go and find our next form of transportation to show you so we can finish out showing you some of Bangkok's transportation. Before we head to our next form of transportation, we are sitting outside of the mall really quick. We're gonna miss the light show because it starts in like an hour and we've seen it a couple times, but definitely come here for the light and water show because it's just beautiful here at night. It's fun to hang out and just relax. Let's go find our transportation. As we're trying to find um, our next mode of transportation, which we haven't told you is a tuk-tuk. If you don't know what a tuk-tuk is, it's kind of like a three-wheeled little machine. Uh, you obviously have never watched our channel if you don't know what a tuk-tuk is. We drove on around Sri Lanka for two weeks, but they are probably one of the most expensive modes of transportation, but I would say also one of the most popular among tourists. We paid 60 baht for about a one minute and 30 second ride, but... Very expensive, but... <laughs> but it took us to our next spot, which we are going to get on a public bus. And actually, the public bus has been our favorite form of transportation in Bangkok. For sure. It's so cheap, it's so convenient, and really doesn't take that long. It takes a little bit longer than most other yeah. ones, but it honestly, for how much you pay, we would ride it for hours. Oh yeah. So. By far, the best bang for your buck. So let's go get on. We have about 11 minutes until our bus comes. Supposedly 11 minutes. It usually takes a little bit longer, according to the Google map time. But every time you get on a bus, make sure you have your address pulled up and maybe even find the Thai writing of it because most of the bus, um, like the ticketers on the bus, they can't speak English, so you're gonna have to like try to show them in Thai, but get it pulled up on Google Maps, and then find your exact route, and then usually go to the last bus station, which would be at the bottom, and just show them exactly what it is and get it typed out in Thai, because then they'll know how much to charge you for your ride. But other than that, it's super simple, and you just get off when your phone tells you to get off. The bus was supposed to be here like 10, maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago, but we're still waiting for it. So we really hope it comes. <laughs> this is a first time. If it doesn't come, this will be a first time. What are we doing? I don't know. I think we gotta get into that. So it's been about double the amount of time that uh, since the bus was supposed to get here. 
<laughs> it's not here. It's very unfortunate because we talked about how much we love the buses. And now this is the first time the bus just hasn't come. We've taken the buses multiple times though. It's been a great experience. It's so cheap. Usually it's like eight baht a person. So we have a couple bus videos that we've taken before that we can show you how it is, but I think we're gonna have to take a bolt for like 100 baht instead now. No, it sucks. We really do love the bus system. All you do is when you get, you hail them down and then when you get on, they'll come up to you and you just gotta show them where you're going and then get off where you need to get off. Very easy, very simple, we love it, but we think we're gonna have to move on to our next and last transportation mode, which is the use of mobile apps. So grab or bolt. Yeah, right now I'm looking at a bolt and it's 98 baht to get to our place. And so. we have found over and over again that bolt has been either the same or quite a bit cheaper than grab. So yes, that's a little bit of a hack to get bolt and grab both and like kind of check them both if yep. you're trying to go somewhere. But I'll have Kyle explain it to you. All right, so I am on the app Bolt right now. It is currently looking for a driver. And one thing with Bolt we've noticed is that drivers tend to cancel more. So let's see, if we get paired with one, we'll use Bolt. If not, we're gonna have to go with Grab, which is like double the price, so. Okay, so we booked our grab. It should be here in about three minutes. It's gonna cost 189 baht instead. So quite a bit more, but this is a perfect example of why you need to have a backup plan for any public transportation that you do because you truly never know what's gonna happen or how much you're gonna have to pay. Told you it'd be difficult sometimes and confusing. And right now is one of those times, but not terrible, so you should be here soon. I'll show you how it is. Okay, so there you have it. Taking some of the best and some of the worst transportation options that Bangkok has to offer, and also going to the infamous Icon Siam. What is it? Icon Siam Mall. So. Yeah. Even though the bus didn't work out, we still rank it very high up on our list. Yes. Don't discount the buses. That's the only time that's ever happened to us. So. But we will see you next time. So. See ya.